It is Saturday, February 6th, 2021, and uh, working on my first LED prop for the big show this year in like nine months, eight months, so I want to have this thing up and running. Uh, we have a 20, 24.5 pixel uh, snowflake that's been modified a bit from, from a Thingiverse design. Um, first one is to make sure I get the sizing, get the stuff working in patterns, make sure it works in X-Lite. I'm going to start designing my own, um, printing a couple other interesting little test prop pieces here. We'll, we'll see how those go and affect the, the pixels. But the, the goal is to start getting programming, testing models, get the layouts onto the big houses, and, and get this thing going. It's uh, going to be a fun and crazy eight nine months to get this show up and running this is by far the biggest show i've ever taken on and uh let, let's see how this goes but we've got a lot of 3d printing to do and uh this is for this one we're running a uh, overture uh petg it's actually uh the first day of trying to print petg this stuff should, should work much better in the sun so we're actually going to print uh another one of these and leave it out in the sun for a few months and put some weights on it and, and see how it holds up so that we uh we know we're, we're good to go when it's showtime all right blinky blinky all right first props are off the printer first up here we have a c9 style bulb cover so we're going to see how well putting these on top of the pixel nodes light up we should get some pretty cool iridescent kind of effects with the uh the style of the printing there so you can see some interesting lensing so we're gonna see how well this guy works out. They're they're quite resilient, a little springy, very almost water bottle-y, which makes sense given the plastic. We have this guy, which is a little hexagon cover, and has little notches, little things so you can actually attach multiple together. But it's a flat face that we're gonna see for these forward facing. Does this really increase the surface area so you can see the lights to where they're effectively become bigger? We have a little clip. This is part of a larger mounting system. We're going to see how well these hold on to those nodes and see if they feel like they're going to break. Or are they going to snap over time? And our 25 pixel snowflake. So about four hours to, to print this guy. It's a five mil thick. Um, it's only about 15% infill so that you can actually kind of see the, uh, the large honeycomb shapes in there. And I'm actually not sure whether it looks better from the front or the back. And this particular design is using these little ridges if you see those there um in order to hold the pixels so i don't know how well that's going to work i think it's an interesting design it's a little different than some stuff i've seen before so we're going to try that out and see how those guys right there hold it but uh this was printed like i said about four and a half five hours on a cr10 and uh with transparent uh, PETG. this material requires much hotter temperatures than pla but also offers much greater resistance to heat and fade and cracking outdoors. These are 12 volt pixels from RGB Man, and they have quite a beautiful look to them. Really great 18 gauge wire. Right now you're looking at them at 100% brightness as I fix them into the prop, trying to make sure I stay in a consistent order going all the way around, so that when I go back into X lights, I can make it align the same way. These are WS2811s running at 12 volts off a Meanwell power supply. And a Falcon Pi player with a Pi hat in x Lights bridge mode. Once you have your custom model in x Lights, you can start running through the regular x Lights effects. Here I'm trying out some radial, some marquee, some fade, some bars. The basic effects that you would use in x Lights, changing the color palette in a few places, using random in a few places, but really just trying to make sure that my model lines up and what I see in X lights reflects here in the prop. In this case, I'm actually running this prop at about 100%. Later for some of the outdoor tests, I actually brought the brightness down to 30% because in all likelihood, I'm gonna be running my overall show at a 30% brightness. This is to save power, but predominantly to save having to run as many uh, power injection strands on the pixels themselves. This is the five mil thick prop, and I was curious to see how much it actually lights up on the sides, as well as is five mil thick enough to hold the pixels sturdy. So, so far it looks like this custom printed one at five mil actually is holding them 
quite effectively. I'm going to try actually 2.5 mil as well as 10 mil to see how much difference there is over time. It's worth taking a moment to look at the Fresnelling lens effect on the pixels on the C9 covers in the background. You can really see the difference both in brightness as well as just overall color diffuse with those bulb covers. It does give a very nice effect. It's noticeably different than a classic uh, smooth finish on a regular C9 where you'd have a very diffuse overall look, the whole bulb lights up. Here you have a very, very lensing based effect. It's very bright at certain angles and has interesting bands to it. That said, it's actually a pretty unique effect and pretty interesting. So we're gonna take one more look here at a panorama of the X lights effects running on the pixel prop, testing it through a little bit slower. You also, at the bottom, get a nice view of the side view of those pixels. I'm curious to see what happens if I sand them or try to actually print these in white PETG. So I've ordered some white PETG and in the next video or two, you'll likely see some other test shapes show up. We're gonna take one last look at the back of the prop here so you can see the direction of the wiring and how the pattern repeats. You can also see how the translucent plastic lights up quite impressively from the other side. Now let's take a look outside to see how this performs in the real world. So this is running at 30% brightness on the side of my house. On the right is a 400 set of pixels from Twinkly running at full brightness. You can really see how the C9 covers create a much different effect than the raw pixels on the right. The flake is quite visible here from about 20 feet back, but we really don't see a ton of the actual flake shape, so I'm curious to see if white serves as a better reflector than translucent. That said, these pixels are beautiful. Well, there you have it, blinky lights. Overland Avenue Festival of Lights coming this holiday season. Should be a lot of fun. See how this goes.